Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about she codes, which is a coding workshop and it's all online that you can take pretty much starting any Monday. I think they only start on Mondays. And it is on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I, I kind of have the website pulled up here and this is what it looks like once you buy the course. So let's go to the options first. Now they have three options. They have the three week duration, the eight week duration, and then the three month duration. Now they vary in price significantly. Um, yeah, these ones are like $700, $900. I did this one, so it says $99. I ended up getting this class on Black Friday, so I think I got it for about $75. Um, which was significantly less. Obviously, it didn't feel like too much of a commitment. Like $100 feels like a lot, but $75 I could do. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is what comes with the package. So you get the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then they teach you how to use VS Editor. The other ones come with a lot more interesting stuff. I might take the other one just because this one worked out so well for me. So let's go to the workshop here. And we have, this is week one. So you have some, some uh, links on the left here. And so right here you have the HTML is what you start with. So I'll go kind of slow so you can get a feel for what's in the classes. Um, what you'll do is you'll, let's just open up a random one here. And I thought this was perfectly structured. You have a video where you learn, you have the notes underneath, which I copied into Notion, which I will show you. I copied into Notion here while I was uh, watching the video. Then they ask you to do a challenge, which is basically like homework, but it's super quick, just to apply what you just saw. And then you upload it here. Once you upload your solution, you go to solution and then um, the teacher will go over the solution. And so I thought this was perfect because you don't have to wait till the end of the week to test your knowledge. It's just constant. Um, so let me just go back. So you'll see we have some CSS now, CSS colors, properties. And then the end of week one, you do your homework. It tells you what date it needs to be submitted by. And that's what kind of I like is because it pressures you to get it done. Like on Udemy, I think the course, uh, or at least this guy who was teaching this class said that Udemy has a 3% finish rate, where this class has a 97% finish rate. Um, because they force you to, they force you to have homework due, right? So, and they actually have people grading it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> then week two, we get into JavaScript. So you'll see here, if else statements, functions, all that. And then you submit your homework. And then week three was the project. So I'll just show you, um, or I have two of these open. So um, this is how I took notes in Notion here. It's in my courses um, database. And I have status, completed, computer science, uh, the teacher, date I finished, how much I paid for it, location, and then duration here. And so you'll see, this is how I took notes. Um, I just, because Notion has like this code that's built in that you can just copy and paste code into, which was really useful. So you'll see kind of just random bits and and things. I took snips and screenshots and embedded it in here, which I think helped. And at the end, you get a little profile for you. So this is for women, like she codes is specifically for women. Um, I think guys can take it. You just can't have a profile and all that. I don't know. It, it's just geared towards getting women to code because the gap is so large. Um, so here I put a little snip of what I am, my project, which I'll go into detail in a second here. And then um, you can see I was number 9, 19,683 and he was trying to get 100,000 people to, um, or women to get a coding certificate. Um, so we'll go to my profile here. So this was me. Um, I decided to give a little like, this was a great class or, you know, my review. So let's look at my final project here. And it looks a little simple, but actually it was a lot of work. So you had to pick an 
uh, something you like and then basically talk about it and put a little picture and the link. So I talked about advanced manufacturing because the only thing I could think of was data centers. So I gave a little thing straight off Wikipedia, a uh, link to a website and then um, a little buy the book, like as if I was going to write a book on this or something. I just needed a link. <laughs> and then you type in your name. So I type in Liz and your email, which I'm going to ignore. And it says, thank you, Liz. We'll be in touch via email. Um, so it was, it was really fun. And this is a link to my favorite uh, controls website. So that was my final project. I'll show you the code behind it. And then I didn't know that there were things called code editors. So that's what this is. And you'll see it's kind of colorful. I have it in a Dracula colors because that sounds cool. <laughs> it was recommended on the internet. The cool thing about this is it literally codes for you. Like you say you want a heading which is basically like the first words of a page and then you press enter and bam it like codes it for you so like all the syntax and stuff is coded for you it's like oh what a nice thing i didn't know that thing existed so you'll see this is all my code so you see, it is very self-explanatory like this is a paragraph guess what it's called p for paragraph you know like it really it makes sense button that's a button this is the name of the button it's like it just makes sense. And so this was really awesome because what you can do is you'll code something, you'll refresh your page, and then it'll automatically move. So you can see exactly what your code is doing. So that that's why I think this is so great to teach somebody how to code this way. The other cool thing is I, it's linked to my, prof, uh, my LinkedIn. So if you go to my LinkedIn and you're like, oh, who's this uh, Liz chick? You go here and you scroll down and you'll see licenses and certifications or certifications and then bam here's my credential and you can go on here and then see my my cert certificate so i also think that's like super awesome and one of the reasons why i wanted to do this is like that's like public that's there forever i always have that certificate um, and it shows that like you know i'm doing outside work like this has nothing to do with my job like this is literally website building <laughs> So um, I do think the class was really awesome. Overall, like 10 out of 10 would recommend this class to literally any, anybody. Um, now, granted it's geared towards women, but honestly, you could be in middle school and take this class. Like it is so cool. And if, especially if you like visuals and you like colors and you like kind of like graphic design and um, art, it's like the perfect class for you. And it gets you involved into into coding. Now, we didn't do like for loops or anything crazy, but it still was like a great introductory class. So 100% 10 out of 10 review um, would totally recommend this class. And I was working full time when I took the class, which which kind of concerned me in the beginning because I was like, oh crap, how am I going to be able to get this done? But I will tell you, I did this, all the little lectures and stuff on the weekends and then the homework on the weekend as well. And it was perfect amount of work. It like wasn't too much and it wasn't too little. I really, I really thought the class was perfectly set up for somebody who is working full time as well. Um, and so I took this in the month of December. So I knew I'd have some vacation. So that's kind of what I was thinking in the back of my head. I was like, okay, worst case scenario, I have some vacation that I could work on it. Um, but it was a really awesome class. Now I've taken other classes. I've taken like VBA on Udemy and it's just, it doesn't compare to the level of learning that you learn in this class. So um, would totally recommend uh, anybody. And it wasn't too much of a workload. It was just really fun. So as far as taking the other workshops, it's kind of expensive for me at the moment. Um, so I might look into it. I also kind of want to go learn um, the Python or database coding instead. So we're gonna kind of shift gears and, and go down that route. If I am struggling, then I might come back and, and take the rest of this. Cause I think it'd be so fun to make my own website. Like that would be the coolest thing to just tell somebody that you made your own website or you coded your own website. So um, that's kind of the end goal at this point. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed my review on she codes and it's totally not a scam and I saw it all over the internet and I finally did it and I'm very happy that I did. Um, so 
I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let me know if you have any other detailed questions. Thank you.